let's take a look at what's happening with our own Chandrayaan-3. Both the Lunar 25 and Indian probe Chandrayaan-3 uh, that started on the 14th of July were on the way to the Moon's South Pole. Permanently shadowed polar craters are thought to contain frozen water in rocks that could transform into air and rocket fuel. And if that happens, imagine Moon being the jump start position, propelling. I mean, you go to the Moon, you take a little stop and then you go into the galaxy. Um, I mean, let's, just, good. I mean, let's go to Mars. Right? I know. <laughs> Only three governments, ladies and gentlemen, have managed successful moon landing so far the soviet union the united states and china and now soon it is going to be our own very own vikram because lander vikram with the pragyan rover that is houses is set for moon landing on wednesday uh, chandrayaan 3 entered the last lap of its historic journey to the moon early on sunday with lander vikram completing its second and final Second and final deorbiting maneuver, slowing down the spacecraft and taking position into the pre-landing orbit of 25 kilometers to 134 kilometers. So, like you can see, the closest point between the lander in the orbit and the ground is just 25 kilometers now. That's the closest point in the elliptical orbit. Um, and there is a time now. Uh, earlier, you know, we got that uh, tweet information uh, by. Uh, uh, you know, ISRO uh, that told us uh, that there you can see 25 kilometer into the 134 kilometer, uh, uh, you know, uh, orbit line. And uh, this is the closest point. Uh, earlier, we got information that it's going to happen somewhere between 5.30 to 6.30. On Wednesday, you can count on News 9. Do log uh, tune into News 9. Do log on to our uh, you know web pages and Instagram uh, handles uh, to get to know the exact uh, moment and the build up. We've got some next level experts, top notch scientists that are going to be joining us in the run up to that uh, uh, touchdown. But in the meantime, right now, take a look at this. The second deorbiting maneuver for Landum module of Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft was performed successfully. 6:04, 6 p.m. Four minutes, four minutes. Per, there is going to be the soft landing, and India is going to become the fourth nation on this planet, Varghese, to well, we just successfully keep our soft land. We just need to keep our we keep our fingers crossed. It's the last one hour, right? It's the last one hour. It's the last one hour, which which is very crucial because that is when you know the aircraft starts. Uh, sorry, not the spacecraft. In fact, starts mapping on the surface and decides on its landing uh, place. And at the hmm. same time, it'll be continuously feeding in information as well. Its onboard uh, softwares will start working in, and it will try to determine whether it can land safely. It will try to give all the requisite data for the firing of those uh, engines to ensure that there is a soft landing. And I said it is a very complex complex kind of a situation hmm. that we are seeing when we are attempting uh, the kind of lunar landing that we are attempting at. But once we reach the pole, I think one of the things that we don't give credit to ISRO is that ISRO is the one that discovered water in that area of the South Pole. The there first Chandrayaan mission. The first mission. Chandrayaan mission and right. second kind of gave it uh, an impetus also. But then one of the things about that Southern Pole area is also the fact that there is a speculation now that when it is on the uh, side of the sun, uh, when sunlight is falling on it, there's a possibility that there's a very thin, thin atmospheric atmosphere is a possibility over there because the water evaporates and then when it goes mm, to the dark mm, side it mm. comes. So that is uh, a possibility and that is where the speculation has been going on whether water is there on the lunar surface. And as I said it would be a staging port. Uh, the South Pole if everything goes well and if colonies are built it will be the staging port for your interplanetary missions. Will we be alive for all of this? That's why I said when Kabir really when you are about, about all your, this, retirement, it like your uh, retirement tourism might be on the moon. <laughs> That, I mean, <laughs> with whatever's happened with the submersible recently, uh, you would think about, you know, uh, taking these uh, hefty tours, uh, adventure tourism, That's why take I told it you to you the next level. After you retire and then you can make a proper decision on it. Anyway, all right. So, 6 uh, p.m., uh, 4 minutes, 1,804 hours on Wednesday is when Chandrayaan is expected. That's the stipulated and estimated time of touchdown on the lunar surface. It's a soft landing. Uh, the final deboost maneuver, Chandrayaan's lunar lander Vikram has slipped into its pre-landing orbit of 25 by 134 kilometer around the moon. Vikram is scheduled to make soft landing on the South Pole at 6 or 4 p.m. on the 23rd of August. Do join us, ladies and gentlemen. The module would now undergo... Okay, interesting. The module will now undergo internal checks and wait sunrise at the designated landing site because sunrise is important we need one full lunar day one full lunar day means 14 days back at home so 14 days is worth 
of research it all depends on our landing time it must be in uh, you know synchronized with the sunrise on the lunar surface also kabir uh, when we look at chandrayaan it's got specific missions to do i mean this chandrayaan mm. if they mm. are able to land and it's very specific it's not going to be very elaborate the idea is to have a specific goal and not to be you know roaming around over that that's why the instrumentation on the chandrayaan 3 is also right. on those purposes absolutely so uh, we've got better uh, you know modifications this time around we've got uh, you know various seismic activity readers we've got uh, iron and uh, ground surface level density uh, you know uh, recorders recorders lot of stuff is going to be gauged experiments after experiments uh, and uh, you know today we're also and all in 14 days uh, today we're also uh, you know lining up that particular show on the history the the, the rocket history of uh, you know Uh, Indian space program uh, that is also on the card, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to happen at 12 today, I think, Borges. Uh, so uh, do tune in for that as well. So fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, I think on 23rd, how it is going to be. 23rd of August, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Four minutes uh, is when Chandrayaan 3, our own module, is going to finally complete that journey. All orbiting maneuvers are over. Some final checks are left. and then we're going to touch down we're just 25 kilometers above the lunar surface right now it's quite important it is going to be a red letter day a big big day in indian history